Hi and welcome to Lara the Butte. I bought new makeup. So excited. Let's open it. Wait, I'm not sure if I should do it by brand or in the order in which I wear the makeup. I'll do it in the order in which I wear the makeup. I didn't get a primer because I'm quite happy with the primer that I have. Um, the L'Oreal Mattifying Primer. So first I got the MAC Studio Sculpt um, Foundation in the NC50. Come on. Come on. Yeah, so I got this foundation. I got it because I was at a friend's house and she uses this and I didn't have my foundation that day so I, I asked to use hers and I just loved the finish. It was flawless. I did try it on in store and it it was flawless again so I'm so excited about using this. I got it in the shade NC50 which is my shade in MAC. I think I said that already. I also got the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation in the shade 350. I think it's called Caramel. Um, this is quite new in the UK. Is it in the UK that it's... I think it's it's new in my boots, the boots that I go to. I've never seen it before on the shelves and I saw it for the first time last week so I decided to try it. I think it is new but I'm not sure. Anyway, I got this because it's six pounds so I just used my uh, boots points to get this and because I've never seen it before so I like to try a new foundation and you know just to see what it's like. Yeah, so I will try it out and see what it's like. I might do a review on this because I did you know, I was looking for reviews to see what it's like, but I didn't find uh, many, so yeah. Right, so for eyebrows, I decided to try out this NYX eyebrow gel in the shade Espresso, I think it says. So I wanted to try this because I've seen a lot of people saying that it keeps your brows in place and it just, you know, they just stay put, maybe even for... <laughs> two days. I'm not sure if that's true but I just need something that keeps my brows um, in place for the whole day so I think this should be really good. I will let you know how I how I get on with this. So I ran out of concealer. Um, well the concealer that I use which is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Fawn. So I decided to get something different this time. This is the Pro Long Wear Concealer by MAC in the shade NC42. There we are. Um, I wasn't sure whether to get the NC42 or the NC45, which is a bit darker than the NC42, but the 45 looked a bit like, I don't know, it was just nearing my skin tone. So I decided to get this. Worst case scenario, I, I'll just have <laughs> a really highlighted under eye, so I'm not too bothered. I'll just... Oh wow, it looks really br- oh no, this is not my shade. What? Oh gosh! I'm still gonna wear it because <laughs> um, I'll just use a pat- wow, this is not it. Oh, this is sad. I'm sad now. Okay, so I should have got the NC45, but I'm not sure. I, I might try it and see what it's like because I got a new setting powder which is a bit darker than the setting powder that I use so I'll just yeah so this is the Pro Long Wear Concealer by MAC so I also picked up this um, NYX mineral stick foundation but I got this to contour my face um, it's in the shade espresso yeah that's how it swatches I got this because because just like with concealer, it's supposed to be about a shade or two darker than your skin. Um, but I think I, I was going a bit too dark, so I think this is just right. I hope it's just right. It looks just right. I also got this Ben Nye um, powder in the shade Camel. And this I got to set my concealer under my eyes and just anywhere that I highlight. I wanted to try something different because the Sasha sometimes sometimes it works fine other times it gives me like creases just like little creases under my eyes so I'm not sure yeah so I got the Ben Eye powder in Camel I got it from um, a website called Tilt Makeup 
or is it Tilt Cosmetics? Tilt Makeup, it's, um, they're based in London. That's the only place I could trust because there were some on eBay, but I'd, you, sometimes with things like this powder, you, you never know if you're buying clay or, or beach sand or, you know. I got it in camel because obviously the, the banana is a bit too light for my, sh my skin tone and the topaz was a bit too, it just seemed a bit too dark and red for hair for me so this so this was the closest thing I found to the Sasha Buttercup so I'm hoping that this will work better I don't have high hopes because it has mixed reviews people say it gives flashback when you take pictures other people say it's just fine so I just have I think I'll have to see for myself but really quickly I just I've got the um just open this up so I'm just going to show the different in shades so that's the Sasha Buttercup setting powder and that's the Ben Eye powder in Camel. Already I can see that this is a bit darker than this, which I don't mind because I just bought the wrong concealer. <laughs> I think the Sasha gives a brighter under eye, but I'm not sure so I'll just have to try it. I will do a review and we'll see how these two compare. Okay, so that's the powder. Now I'm so excited because I got this palette which I have been dreaming about since it came out last year. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. Is <laughs> yeah, so I finally got this. I'm so excited. I saw it for the first time on, I don't know, it might have been Instagram or Pinterest, but I kept, every time I saw it, I was like, what palette is that? What is that? What's that? And what kept drawing me in is the gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Oh my goodness, I can't get over it. This is amazing to me. What I like in a palette is the combination of colors and there is no color in here that doesn't belong. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes uh, some palettes will have say neutrals and then one odd bright color. I don't like that. You've got everything in here. I can't imagine anything that could be added to this. Anything that could be added would probably ruin the palette. But that's just, this reminds me of the Naked Palette when it came out because I was so, oh my gosh, I messed it up with all the makeup. See, the front is dirty now, but who cares? Yeah, when the Naked Palette came out, I just liked the combination of shades. It was just a masterpiece. And I think this is too. This is incredible to me. <laughs> I just saw that I had lipstick on my teeth. I don't know how long I've had it for, but please excuse me. Now the second palette is, I could just cry. The hell I've been through just to get this Nubian too. <laughs> I haven't really been through hell, I just have had to wait about 12 days for it to get here. Yeah, so this arrived today. Oh, I am in love with this. When this first came out, I just thought I have to have this, I have to have it. So I went to the website. Um, put it in my cart, put in the Masquerade palette as well, which is by Juvia's. It's a really like amazing palette as well. Then I went to checkout and I was <laughs> uh, filled in shipping info and saw the price and I just closed the whole window because because the shipping cost nearly as much as both of the palettes. So I just did, I just didn't think it was worth it, but I kept thinking about it. Yeah, so I finally got this. This was the only one that I got. It's the one that I like the most. Um, it was on sale, so it was $28. Everything came up to £54, which is... <laughs> I want to do a review on it to talk about um, stuff like shipping and how long I had to wait and things like that for anyone who might be in the UK. <sighs> It genuinely makes me sad that we don't have as much makeup as the people in America. I'm sad that I just can't go out and get some ColourPop. <laughs> I wish we had a lot more brands that are in the US, a lot more makeup, but, but hopefully that will change. So another palette is this Full Spectrum palette by Urban Decay. I just adore their packaging every time. Like, look at that. It's just so pretty. Oh my gosh. Anyway, that's the full spectrum palette. Now I got this because I want to play with a bit more color for summer or spring. How does this open? Oh, there we go. 
So those are the shades. Um, I'm just holding it like this so you don't see um, the lights in the mirror. Again, I like how they've lined up the, um, the shades. And again, here's the theme, bright colors. Um, those are the pinks, those are like, that's an orange and like a, you know, like a coral. That's yellow and gold, greens, blues, purples. And then we have like a matte white, silver looking one and a, um, and a shimmery black one on the corner. Some of these are matte and some of them are quite shimmery. I'm just really impressed with the variety that this has. I wanted to get a Morphe palette again, but they're always sold out. It's a bit annoying now, like why are you always sold out? Yeah, so I can't wait to use these. Uh, maybe not a full on um, bright color eyeshadow look, maybe just a pop of color in the inner eye corner or just a blue on the lower lash line, something like that. I just want to, I just want to get a bit more playful with color and just be a bit more creative. So moving on to lips, the first thing is the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil Crayon, um, these by NARS. I got three of them. The first one is, so the first one is Cruella, um, Cruella which is a red and which is the reason I got the other two because this, when I tried, I just went to try these out and when I tried this one, oh my gosh. such a beautiful red and it goes on really nicely and it lasts all day what more could you ask for and this was great that i found this because i've been on the hunt for a red lipstick that's not ruby wool because that's all i ever wear that and um, the charlotte tilbury red carpet red or something which is what i'm wearing now <laughs> yeah this is red carpet red but i wanted something else and this just fits the bill just very pretty. I think it's a blue based um, red lipstick, which are my favorite ones. And then I got this one called Bahama. This is a more nude color. I think this is, yeah, this is a nude for me. It's more on the pink side, which are my kinds of nudes. And the third one is Never Say Never. This one I thought was a really pretty spring color. And I want to add this to my spring lipstick lookbook. Just really nice. Then I have a couple from um, MAC. This one is called Snob. Yeah, this has a satin finish and I just thought it was really pretty as well. And then there's this cream sheen one called Sweet and Sour. I'll just swatch it there. This is a peach one which I wanted but I might have to wear a dark um, lip liner with this so it doesn't look too bright you know so that there's not much contrast between my skin and my and my lips when I wear this. And then for eyelashes I got these Demi Wispies by Ardell. These are just to wear every day, nothing too dramatic, you know just like your everyday eyelashes. And this has four pairs of eyelashes. I will link everything in the description box um, for anyone who might want to buy anything from this haul. Also, I got two uh, sets of the um, Kiss INV Trio lashes. These have become one of my favorite things to use. They're not so tedious to, to put on like the, uh, the individual lashes and you can sort of control the volume of the lash that you want so I've really been loving these and also from Urban Decay there's this <sighs> this looks so fancy but it's only setting spray yeah this is my favorite setting spray I think everyone knows that this is the uh, all-nighter long-lasting setting spray by Urban Decay they've changed the packaging and I like that mine has run out just in time for me to get one with the new packaging I'm not sure how I feel about the pet. It's the same thing. As long as they haven't changed the formula, it's all right with me. And it came in this pretty box, which I will probably keep to put my eyelashes in or something. Also got these beauty blenders from, what's it called, um, Beauty Bay. Yeah, I got a black one and a pink one because I haven't used a beauty blender in months since last year. 
and sometimes I notice that my makeup is not as seamless yeah it's not as yeah it doesn't go on as smooth with a brush but I think it depends on the foundation as well because I was looking at some pictures from last year and I thought why does my makeup look so you know so much better than <laughs> recently and I remembered that I used to use a beauty blender some people don't like to use beauty blenders because they say it sucks in too much product but I mean I guess it's a personal choice I think it takes off excess product so you only have on your face what you need but I don't know if I'm lying to myself but that's how I that's what I think and then I got some makeup brushes from Amazon from a company called Kivenge it's a Q I V A N G E. Sorry, you can't see. It says Kivange or Kivenge. I don't know. That's what they look like. Just get one out of the packaging. They feel a bit light. Very, very soft. Oh my goodness. They feel a bit light. But maybe I'm just used to using my wooden brushes. They're very, very soft. They do have a smell, but I don't mind that. I don't mind when brushes smell like a factory because that's where they're made. <laughs> Even my Morphe brushes came smelling like factory. I mean, if you're that bothered, you can always wash them. And I think you have to wash them every time you get them. I haven't always washed mine, to be honest. They came with this little booklet here that just shows, um, I guess, information on each brush and what it's used for. And they come in white and gold, purple and gold, and black and gold. And that was the haul. So those are all the items that I've recently purchased. Like this video if you like it and if you want to see more hauls. Um, and if you want to see me broke. And subscribe if you haven't already. And please don't forget to click the bell so you know when I post a video. So thank you again for watching. Links are in the description box and have a nice day.